Climate smart agricultural practices are seen globally as a means of ensuring food security whilst mitigating the impact of climate change on the environment. In the northern region of Ghana, a yam seed production company has adopted a new approach of breeding yam through the yam vine. Hikma Agro Services is what I'm talking about. We brought you that story. Take a look again at their process. Throughout the humid African tropics, root, tuba, and banana crops are the most important food staple. Approximately 300 million people in developing countries depend on RTB value chain, namely cassava, potato, sweet potato, bananas, and yams for food security and income. Yam is an important staple food crop in Ghana and is produced throughout the country. Ghana is the leading exporter of yam, despite the fact that it is the third largest producer in the world after Nigeria and Cote d'Ivoire. Like most things in the world today, climate change is a major threat to yam production systems. So a team of agriculture researchers have introduced a new climate smart technology to rapidly multiply yam seeds for farmers. Farmers will go through the laborious process of raising yam mounds and at the end of the period they cannot plant all the yam, uh, the yam mounds because they don't have sufficient seed yam to plant and it has been so over and over the uh, uh, years. So the International Institute of Tropical Agriculture, IITA, based in Nigeria, they came out with this technology. Uh, we worked in, in collaboration with them. And the technology is to produce CDM at a very fast rate using the yam vine instead of uh, the, the tuba. Yam is not only a food crop, it is a cash crop. Yam contributes about 17% of the agricultural subsector GDP and employs about 300 smallholder farmers in the northern belt alone. But for many years, yam farmers in Ghana have used a yam mini set to plant yam, which means averagely every farmer saves about 30% of the yam tubers he produces in the year for replanting. Yam is a very important crop in this country and in particularly here in the northern part of the country. In fact, here in the yam producing areas, once they run out of yam, they tell you the hunger has started. So the technology uh, has come handy so that one, we can rapidly multiply the seed yam that they, uh, we have released at the uh, research stations and be able to supply many farmers with that seed yam at the go. From here, the ladies are going to sit down and do the cutting of the single notes. Alhaji Amadou Mahama is one farmer who has adapted this technology. Amadou is the CEO of Hikma Farms. Hikma is a, a new seed company which was established in 2016. And Hikma is focused on producing seed yam for smallholder farmers. This is our main business. Hikma has been in operation for only three years. And in the last three years, what we've been doing is trying to adapt a technology, a new technology for producing yam, working with a number of partners in the research institutions and the Ghana Climate Innovation Center. Let's get on Zoom and talk to Abdul Nasser Alidu. He's an entrepreneur, entrepreneurship consultant at the Ghana Climate Innovation Center. And Ms. Alidu, thank you for your time and this afternoon. This is a great innovation. Um, let's start from the, the idea, you know, what, what's motivating this idea behind it? We know about climate change and the climate action that's supposed to be taken, but what's yours? Share with us. Um, I'm guessing you're talking about what is motivating 
as in uh, carrying out this project and follow yeah carrying out this project following people like this and bringing out okay. those encouraging so stories the whole point is climate change over time has been seen as it, it is a problem that we all have uh, we all know this is our world right but the solution has often been you know, promoted by government so it's mostly been you know, governments looking at how do we um, mitigate climate change um, how do we um, ensure that people are Um, looks like uh, he's frozen on me, but let's try and uh, get the get the lights working again. Uh, Mr. Lidu, can you hear me? Okay, whilst we're raising back on the line, let me go through some of the messages you've been sending us on the stories that we played for you so far. Some of you have sent in some messages on the back of the breast cancer story, the investigation, investigation uh, investigations done by Kwete Nati, a member of our investigative desk. This one says, hmm, Ghana, there are lots of unapproved hospitals fees and finally go into some people's pockets. When you conduct when you conduct the officials, you mean when you confront the officials, they deny. But in reality it is true. Auditing and investigation must go on regularly. Beidu sends that from Techiman. Um, right, I do have Mr. Alidu back. Mr. Alidu, I lost you briefly. Do tell us again what you are saying. My apologies, I think the internet um, was... That's up. totally understandable. Please go ahead. <laughs> so what I was saying is, um, so what we are doing in Ghana is we have this incubator, which, um, so the Climate Innovation Center is actually housed at Ashesi University. And it's, like I said, it's funded by the World Bank. And the idea is to identify businesses in Ghana who are, you know, embarking on climate change mitigation or climate change adaptation ventures and then to bring them in and help them through a program to become a lot more successful. So that's what we are doing, um, we are doing in Ghana. Okay, at the end of the day, what are you looking to achieve? Okay, so at the end of the day, right, um, what we are looking to achieve is this. We know the economy is going to grow. Mm. Okay. Over time, this, uh, this economy needs to grow. And today, Ghana is growing at you know, close to 8%. But the question is, are we going to power our um, economy with you know, climate um, smart technologies, mm -hmm. or are we going to power our economy with technology that's actually going to destroy our environment? We want to see a future where Ghana continues to grow and even grow a lot more than we're going to do. But then the companies and the technology that's powering the economy are technologies and companies that are also good for our economy. So that we are growing, but we are not, we are not destroying our environment in the process of growing. So that's ultimately is what we want to uh, want to see on a very high level. So far, what's your assessment? Okay, we're doing very well. I mean, so to date, we've incubated about 83 businesses um, in five key sectors. So we've incubated businesses in Climate Smart Agri, and Hikmaf um, Agro Processing is one of, uh, one of the companies within that space. We've looked at companies in solar, we've looked at companies in uh, domestic waste management, water purification, um, energy efficiency. So a whole broad range of companies. And some of these have moved on from, you know, just small startups to become award-winning businesses. So how are we doing? I think we're doing pretty well. Um, the companies that we brought in have cumulatively generated over $2 million in, in terms of revenue um, in the last three or four years that we've been operating mm. um, actively. We've created over 150 jobs, direct jobs, actually. Uh, so yes, it's successful, but it has to continue. It's something that needs to continue um, so that it doesn't become uh, something that started as a success and then got left off and nobody heard about it. We need to ensure that it becomes completely national. And that's how our economy runs. And we are excited to be to partner with you on this journey to make it national, to bring prosperity to our people, to support our economic growth. We'll be having more of this conversation, so I won't bore you and our viewers with too much um, and also take out the juice. So we'll have more of this conversation. Thank you very much for joining us this afternoon. Thank you. Abdul Nasser Alidu is an entrepreneurship consultant with TCIC, and they are taking this climate action and we are here working with them.